Algeria, officially the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, is a country in North Africa. Algeria is bordered to the northeast by Tunisia to the east by Libya to the southeast by Niger to the southwest by Mali, Mauritania, and western Sahara to the west by Morocco and to the north by the Mediterranean Sea. It is considered to be a part of the Maghreb region of North Africa. It has a semi-arid geography, with most of the population living in the fertile north and the Sahara dominating the geography of the south. Algeria covers an area of 2,381,741 square kilometers 919,595 square miles, making it the world's 10th largest nation by area, and the largest nation in Africa, being more than 200 times as large as the smallest country in the continent, the Gambia. With a population of 44 million, Algeria is the ninth most populous country in Africa, and the 32nd most populous country in the world. The capital and largest city is Algiers, located in the far north on the Mediterranean coast. Algeria produced and is linked to many civilizations, empires and dynasties, including ancient Numidians, Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Romans, Vandals, Byzantines, Umayyads, Abbasids, Rustamids, Idrisids, Aglabids, Fatimids, Zurids, Hamadids, Almoravids, Amahads, Zionids, Spaniards, Ottomans and the French colonial empire. The vast majority of Algeria's population is Arab Berber, practicing Islam, and using the official languages of Arabic and Berber. However, French serves as an administrative and educational language in some contexts. The main spoken language is Algerian Arabic. Algeria is a semi-presidential republic, with local constituencies consisting of 58 provinces and 1,541 communes. Algeria is a regional power in North Africa, and a middle power in global affairs. It has the highest human development index of all non-island African countries and one of the largest economies on the continent, based largely on energy exports. Algeria has the world's 16th largest oil reserves and the 9th largest reserves of natural gas. Sunatrac, the national oil company, is the largest company in Africa, supplying large amounts of natural gas to Europe. Algeria's military is one of the largest in Africa, and has the largest defense budget on the continent. It is a member of the African Union, the Arab League, the OIC, OPEC, the United Nations, and the Arab Maghreb Union, of which it is a founding member. Prehistory and ancient history around 1. 8 million year old stone artifacts from Ainhanic Algeria were considered to represent the oldest archaeological materials in North Africa. Stone artifacts and cut marked bones that were excavated from two nearby deposits at Ain Boucherit are estimated to be 1.9 million years old, and even older stone artifacts to be as old as 2.4 million years. Hence, the Ain Boucherit evidence shows that ancestral hominins inhabited the Mediterranean fringe in northern Africa much earlier than previously thought. The evidence strongly argues for early dispersal of stone tool manufacture and use from East Africa or a possible multiple origin scenario of stone technology in both East and North Africa. Neanderthal tool makers produced hand axes in the Levalogian and Mousterian styles 43,000 BC similar to those in the Levant. Algeria was the site of the highest state of development of Middle Paleolithic flake tool techniques. Tools of this era, starting about 30,000 BC, are called Atyrian after the archaeological site of Bir el Ader, south of Tebusa. The earliest blade industries in North Africa are called ibero and located mainly in the Oran region. This industry appears to have spread throughout the coastal regions of the Maghreb between 15,000 and 10,000 BC. Neolithic civilization animal domestication and agriculture developed in the Saharan and Mediterranean Maghreb perhaps as early as 11,000 BC or as late as between 6,000 and 2,000 BC. This life, richly depicted in the Tassili Nahr paintings, predominated in Algeria until the Classical period. The mixture of peoples of North Africa coalesced eventually into a distinct native population that came to be called Berbers, who are the indigenous peoples of Northern Africa. Twenty-one ancient Roman ruins of Timgad on the street leading to the local Arch of Trajan from their principal center of power at Carthage, the Carthaginians expanded and established small settlements along the North African coast by 600 BC, a Phoenician presence existed at Tipasa, east of Churchill. Hippo Regis modern Inaba and Ruzicade modern Skikta. These settlements served as market towns as well as anchorages. As Carthaginian power grew, its impact on the indigenous population increased dramatically. Berber civilization was already at a stage in which agriculture, manufacturing, trade, 
and political organizations supported several states. Trade links between Carthage and the Berbers and the interior grew, but territorial expansion also resulted in the enslavement or military recruitment of some Berbers and in the extraction of tribute from others. Massinissa circa 238-148 BC, first king of Numidia by the early 4th century BC, Berbers formed the single largest element of the Carthaginian army. In the revolt of the mercenaries, Berber soldiers rebelled from 241 to 238 BC after being unpaid following the defeat of Carthage in the First Punic War. They succeeded in obtaining control of much of Carthage's North African territory, and they minted coins bearing the name Libyan, used in Greek to describe natives of North Africa. The Carthaginian state declined because of successive defeats by the Romans in the Punic Wars. In 146 BC the city of Carthage was destroyed. As Carthaginian power waned, the influence of Berber leaders in the hinterland grew. By the 2nd century BC, several large but loosely administered Berber kingdoms had emerged. Two of them were established in Numidia, behind the coastal areas controlled by Carthage. West of Numidia lay Mauritania, which extended across the Malaya River in modern-day Morocco to the Atlantic Ocean. The high point of Berber civilization, unequaled until the coming of the Amahads and Almoravids more than a millennium later, was reached during the reign of Massinissa in the 2nd century BC. The lands which comprise modern-day Algeria were part of the Byzantine Empire the Empire in 555 under Justinian the Great, at its greatest extent since the fall of the Western Roman Empire vassals in pink after Massinissa's death in 148 BC, the Berber kingdoms were divided and reunited several times. Massinissa's line survived until 24 AD, when the remaining Berber territory was annexed to the Roman Empire. Roman inscription from Aguineb in the province of Laguat for several centuries Algeria was ruled by the Romans, who founded many colonies in the region. Like the rest of North Africa, Algeria was one of the breadbaskets of the empire, exporting cereals and other agricultural products. St. Augustine was the bishop of Hippo Regis modern-day Annaba, Algeria, located in the Roman province of Africa. The Germanic Vandals of Gaiseric moved into North Africa in 429 and by 435 controlled coastal Numidia. They did not make any significant settlement on the land, as they were harassed by local tribes. In fact, by the time the Byzantines arrived Leptis Magna was abandoned and the Mzelida region was occupied by the indigenous Laguatan who had been busy facilitating an Amazigh political, military and cultural revival. Furthermore, during the rule of the Romans, Byzantines, Vandals, Carthaginians, and Ottomans the Berber people were the only or one of the few in North Africa who remained independent. The Berber people were so resistant that even during the Muslim conquest of North Africa they still had control and possession over their mountains. The collapse of the Western Roman Empire led to the establishment of a native kingdom based in Alta the modern-day Algeria known as the Moro Roman Kingdom. It was succeeded by another kingdom based in Altava, the Kingdom of Altava. During the reign of Kusile its territory extended from the region of modern-day Fez in the west to the western Oris and later Kyreuan in the interior of Afrikia in the east. Later Kyre